All right, guys. I uh, got a little time here this morning. Took my family to uh, Great Wolf Lodge. Bruh, that was terrible uh, so far. Uh, but they're back in the room uh, ready to go swim again. They gave me the morning to go do a quick little hunt. So I'm down here in Kansas City, Kansas. Going to be hitting up a few stores. Hopefully we find something, see something worthwhile. But the first one here, I believe it's called Top Hat Liquor. So we're going to check it out. Let's get it. Oh yeah, so they've got really kind of a cool selection here. Uh, to, you know, the Henry McKenna, and here's the uh, Larceny Barrel Proof uh, B524. Um, that, I haven't, uh, I can't remember what I, if I had the B524, if I have, I'm sure there's a review of it. Here's the, if you're a Chiefs fan, it's a good price on just uh, Old Maker's Mark, but you know, cheers to all you Chiefs fans out there. You know, I was kind of hard on this off the bat, but going back to this, this is just a solid bottle for that price. I mean, that's a good entry level. It's got a little bit softer notes for a toasted. The Rivalist, Union Horse, Union Horse Harvest. Just only Lenexa, Kansas, Kansas whiskey. I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more. One of my favorite ryes right here is the old Ezra 7, it's solid. And then my go-to is the you know the wild turkey. Let's pan down here. Tomstown. I've never heard anyone having Tomstown. You got the Traveler. It's sitting around more. Here's your Wellers. You know, Leader and Big Boy and Sazerac. These are sitting around a little bit more. I see a lot more of those in there. All the fancy Basil Haydens. The Subtle Smoke and the Red Cast. That's very interesting. You know, they're trying some different stuff over there at Jim Beam for Basil Haydens. Now for the best bang in your buck, right here, the Jim Bean. So let's go here. This is nice. Rebel 100, six year. That's interesting. It's not a bad price either. That's interesting. Six year, I don't think that's the, the average age statement for that. Crown single malt. I'm interested being a single malt from Canada. Wonder how that's gonna be. Now some, some of your Scotch guys like to watch this or take a look at this. Tell me if I'm missing anything here. I'm not a Scotch guy, so if there's something here, I'll be around, or someone else can come pick it up. It's a good price for the Lagavulin. Love that. First Scotch I ever had, PD Beast, for sure. So yeah, Top Hat Liquors here. Uh, got plenty of stuff. Uh, they've got a glass case, you know the glass case, so let's take a look and see what they got here. Oh, they got the bookers. Now well, let's see, this is uh, the Beam House batch. I just reviewed that one. And one of my favorite bookers of all times, the Mighty Fine batch, that's pretty dang good. Um, I really enjoy that. It's a little off profile for Jim Beam. Really thought it was good. Here's Barrel Proof, B524 and A124. I think, um, I think it was Mash and Drum said that this was his favorite of this year. I've got them all back home, so that's Pretty good. Oh, let's go down here. Oh, Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. 200 bucks, that is like right on market. That's good. Let's see if it's over that. 269, I think Nancy Fraley, the master blender, she told me to get anything over 280. I think that's right. Uh, Caribou Crossing, it's such a cool bottle. I've got a few of them. That is a cool one. Here's some Blantons here. All right. Some pretty cool stuff. I think that you guys, uh, they say from time to time uh, in the earlier in the month, if you guys get a chance to check out Top Hat, they get some stuff from month to month. So come here and check it out. They got some good stuff. All right, just left Top Hat Liquors here in Kansas City, uh, Kansas. I believe I'm still in Kansas. Um, amazing. Uh, staff the, the dude talked to me awesome dude didn't want to be on camera he said it's too early in the morning i get that i'm all so tired um and so uh go in there and check out stuff early uh in the month they get stuff also check out their tequila selection the tequilas in there were amazing i didn't i was talking to him too much um i didn't film it so there's just some amazing uh tequilas in there and if you like bourbon you probably like tequila check it out G-Reggers, it's got sherry in it. 
Nope. Let's see if there's anything down the bottom. Kentucky gentleman. Old granddad. Navigator. Kentucky bourbon. Aged three years in white American oak. Okay. Bottled by Navigator of California. Weird. I've heard a lot of people say good stuff about that. So, probably pick up the bottle. Pick up this one. I got a big one at home. My favorite beer right there. Casey Beer Dunkel. Good stuff. All right. So, staff was nice. You know, a nice little clean store. Um, didn't have a whole lot. They had the the Weller Special Reserve, they had Buffalo Trace. So if you're looking in for that, it is at this store. Uh, it's Parkway Liquor, just not a whole lot there. Um, very nice store, like I said, clean, staff are awesome and nice. So let's go to the next one. All right, so we're here at Legacy Liquors and it's got bars on the window, so you know it's gotta be good. Let's check it out. Well, I was wrong. When they have things like Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel behind a glass, uh, case, it's probably not even worth showing the store. And so, yeah, it wasn't worth it. Yeah, not for bourbon hunting anyway. On to the next. All right, we've driven through part of Kansas City, kind of coming back towards the Legends area, if you're in Kansas City and you know. Um, so now we're going to check out Discount Village West Liquors. Hopefully they have something worthwhile here. Let's check it out. All right, checking out all the stuff here. We are in the land of holiday. Might stop by the uh, distillery later today. We'll check it out to see how the kids are doing. Love this bottle. It was on top of 2024. I didn't care for this bottle. Some of you guys said that you liked it. Ah, store pick, Maker's Mark. See the stave profile here. Almost 109 proof. Interesting. Overall, not a bad price on that. Just seeing these sitting around all the time now. Uh, single barrel. Those are usually pretty pretty good for the price. Castle and Keys, a no for me. I don't. Have you guys had any of the newer stuff? Is it worthwhile? Anything on the bottom? Scream to us here. Kentucky Gentleman, J.W. Dant. Somebody told me to check out for the sixth year of the new ref. Not sure. I haven't seen that one yet. Always worth checking out the barrels. This one, blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. Five year, 10 year, 14 and 16. All the blue notes, Kansas batch number 16. Usually they pick pretty good stuff. There's an eight year new ref rye. Let me know if you guys see anything I missed or should pick up. Nothing that's really triggering. Toasted rye. I had a ball of that, pretty good. Saz rags everywhere now. Makes a good old fashioned. Blue runs are sitting more. I think they're just too expensive. Just not worth the money in my opinion. Same to this. Let's check out anything else here. Yeah, I'm trying to show you guys this fairly quick. I slowed down the clip because I was dodging people, but obviously they got some big dogs. Russell's 15, Blanton's Gold, Fortaleza. Um, if you look up top, there's an old Forster birthday bourbon. Yeah. All over secondary. Look at this dumbass. For those interested in Orphan Barrel, yeah. So there's a Maker's Mark, 120 bucks. It's for the heart release. Uh, not going to pull the trigger at that price. We've got Widow Jane. Right to the right, I can't believe I didn't show it, is a Caribou Crossing for 60 bucks. I am probably going to pull the trigger on that one. And yeah, they have some standard offerings, things like that. Down below, they have a Bernheim uh, Barrel Proof. I ended up not walking away with it. Very interesting store. They had uh, plenty of stuff. Uh, 
above secondary or right at secondary for some of the biggest bottles that you want. There was, I mean, a couple Russell's 15s for uh, about 150 bucks over what you can have it, you know, to your door. Um, and so, yeah, so that's a little bit tough, but I was just perusing. I was like, well, everything's out of my price range or over what I'm willing to pay. And then I happened to see this guy, Caribou Crossing, $60. Yeah, I'm gonna pull the trigger on that one every time. So yeah, got another Caribou Crossing, pretty psyched about that. And I think we got one more store and then it's back to Great Wolf Lodge and being a parent again. So let's check out the last one and then get the hell out of here. All right, last stop of the day is Bargain Liquor. Uh, it's in a, attached to a gas station, so it's gotta be good, right? Let's figure it out. Let's see if they got anything. Well, that one was a dud. I would say that um, the ones that I spent a little more time filming are probably the ones that you want to spend more time at. Um, I'm looking at a few different things. You know, the last one uh, had a lot of stuff at secondary. Staff was awesome. Um, I guess if you're willing to pay that or hopefully they have a different way that maybe they can knock down some of the cost. And some of the other ones are just like, yeah, you got to be there at the right time to get them. It is what it is. So yeah, that was fun little hunt um just around this area back to great wolf lodge maybe stop by ben holiday later today so we might attach that to the video or not depending on how the family's doing so appreciate you guys watching smash that like subscribe if you're not comment down below would you have pulled the trigger on some of those things or what did i miss appreciate you guys see ya Finally made it home, was a long drive. Um, had some decent hunting today, uh, went and uh, enjoyed a nice cocktail at Ben Holiday. And yeah, so overall pretty good time. Got a Caribou Crossing, wasn't expecting that. Decided not to spend secondary on some other bottles. So yeah, until next time, we'll keep on hunting and yeah, good luck to your hunts as well. Peace.